welcome friends in this lesson we are going to look at what is analysis and we all know that there is a whole lot of aura around the word analysis among young professionals and students mostly they would see a lot of tv show anchors speaking very lucidly on television about various companies various sectors and they very efficiently speaking with all kind of promoters very efficiently and that's why there is a lot of aura around the word analysis in this lesson we are going to address those various aspect that form the constituents of analysis so let us have a look at the agenda in this we are going to look at the purpose of analysis analyze what what does it really mean by doing analysis and what would be typical outcomes of analysis so let us begin with the purpose of analysis when things are not clear when there is no direction when action requires sufficient rational and when there is a possibility of multiple outcomes of certain situation and there are some insight required on some topics and there are so many other situations where in depth study of a topic is required before you can take any specific action what we require is analysis now let us look at what all can we analyze so let us look at what could be the topics you can analyze company stock you can analyze financials you can analyze company management you can analyze company strategy you can analyze company operations you can analyze competition it could be corporate action and it could be stock price it could be lot of other things like peer study ratio analysis valuations and actually seeing the list could be really endless the real outcome of analysis will be possible only when you focus on what you really want and if you pick up any of these topics you would see analyst who are working only in analyzing those fields so analysis is limitless and that is one of the pitfalls the young professional should know that unless and until the analysis is focused and time bound they may they, they may not be heading towards a specific outcome which we will see in the pitfalls of analysis in some other video now let us look at what does it mean by doing analysis so analysis is basically the process of comparing a variety of parameters to arrive at actionable points from the future perspective mostly it happens in mind but we represent it in real terms by support of data points data tables charts and other parameters even now we are doing analysis you and me are doing analysis regularly ongoingly whether we acknowledge it or not we are always analyzing whether something is right something is wrong something is good something is bad something is correct something is incorrect something is justified something is unjustified that analysis is always on essentially analysis is a three step process it begins with collection of data points then the analysis and then identifying some actionable points so let us look at what could be actionable points that can be identified in the area of equity analysis now two specific things one is data points and the other is analysis so under the data collection point you can actually read through annual reports read through news items go through companies transcripts read investor presentations actually test or test the products like let us say a company in telecom equipment manufacture industry comes out with a new handset you actually go to shops and test the quality of the product you actually take a drive of a new automobile launched by a automobile company you actually test out the products that are laid out by a food manufacturing company to see what would be the consumer demand so that is all actionable points in the area of acute analysis what kind of analysis you can perform it could be trend analysis it could be hypothesis analysis it could be sensitivity analysis it could be probability analysis and there are a lot of other areas of doing analysis and one thing to remember in mind is that this is not all this is not the end 
analysis is not an objective process analysis could be a subjective process or essentially saying analysis is a subjective process if you pick up any topic and give to two different people you may not come out with the same answer sometimes or most of the times analysis is biased sometimes it's chicken or egg like a problem whether analysis is done to come out with some specific outcome or the outcome has come out of the analysis is difficult to identify or acknowledge so you need to be really careful when you look at the analysis analysis will always come out with certain disclaimers and you need to be really cautious of those disclaimers now let us look at what could be typical outcomes of the analysis there could be some trends some up moving trend some down moving trend some cyclical trends and sometimes there will be no trends and there could be some behavior patterns that you can identify sometimes you would have certain conclusions which lead to forward the purpose with which you began the analysis what is the pending topic in this section on analysis is pitfalls analysis which we will see in some other video this is it for this lesson thank you